Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am finally gonna be testing out the new Glam Light Michaela palette. I'm saying new relatively because this has been out for maybe like two months now, but I ended up pre-ordering it because I missed the initial launch and I just haven't had a chance to play with it yet. So I thought today we would go ahead and do just that. I'm really excited about it because the packaging is super cute and the shimmers in this palette just look so, so pretty. Like all the shades on the bottom three rows are just making me super happy, especially this one right here. I feel like that's gonna end up being on my eyelids today. So in today's video, we're just gonna go ahead, do some live swatches of every single shade in this palette and do an eye look, and I'll just kind of give you my first impression thoughts so far. Overall, I'm a pretty big fan of the Glam Light formula, so I'm hoping that this palette is just as amazing. It was kind of hyped up as being their best palette yet, so we'll see. Okay, so the first shade here is called Harley, and it just looks kind of like a very just neutral brown. We've got How You Doing, which is another neutral brown, just a little bit deeper. I really like those two shades. We've got Gemini, which is a slightly more warm mid-tone brown. Feels really smooth. Next we've got What's Poppin', which is a pretty kind of just golden bronzy shade. Hot Cocoa, another orange-based brown, and then Willow, which looks like, like a really deep kind of eggplant shade. I really like that one. Ooh. Next we've got Glow Up, which looks like a pretty kind of rose gold shimmer. Super, super creamy. Simba. Kind of like a light pinky coral accent. <laughs> got another bronzy shade here. That one's just a little bit less golden and more champagne than the previous What's Poppin'. Next we've got Buffalo Chicken, which is more of like a bright, corally orange. We've got Manifest, which is a really pretty kind of like purple, just, it almost looks more silvery, like charcoaly in the palette, but it's really stunning. And then we've got Cookie, which is a metallic kind of brown. Ooh, so pretty. All of the shimmers seem so, so nice so far. So there's the first two rows. I'm gonna wipe those off and then we can do the last three together just because they seem to go really well. And I'm not gonna be able to fit every single shade on my arm at once, but I think those look nice. They're not exactly the neutral tones that I would do with the bottom half of the palette, but formula-wise, they look really pretty. Okay, so now jumping into the colors, which is what I'm most excited about. We're gonna start off with Iconic, which just looks like a kind of matte Barbie pink. We've got Simping, which is such a pretty metallic pink. And then Immaculate, which is another really beautiful shimmer. I feel like there's so many things in this palette though that kind of remind me of things they've done in the past, but they have so many palettes that I feel like if I were to sit here and compare every single one, it would be a really, really long moment. So if you guys want me to do a full video just like comparing all of Glam Lights palettes and which ones overlap and whatnot, let me know. But those look stunning. Next we have MJ, which looks kind of like a bright, kind of lavender, new beige, which is the first shimmer that's more of just a satin in this palette. It's like a satin deeper purple. Everything else has been more of like that creamy, ultra metallic feel. We've got Nas, which this one looks so pretty, like, I love it. Oh, that's so pretty. Next we've got the best color, which is kind of like a like springtime green. I feel like there's a word, maybe spearmint is what I'm looking for. And then we've got bonehead, which is a really creamy, super pretty green stunning which looks like such a beautiful kind of chartreuse goldy green. I love that tone. Wow. Okay, that shade reminds me of a shade that um, Kathleen Lights did in collaboration with ColourPop 
a really long time ago. It was a super shock shadow. I want to say it maybe started with like a T. I can't remember the name, but it reminds me of that. Next so we've got Portagey, which is like a super, super metallic kind of deep purple. That one feels so creamy. I feel like I barely even touched it to get that pigmentation. We've got Pot 2, which is a really bright purple. That one is a little bit more um, dusty in the pan. We've got Rhodey, which is a bright blue. Again, a little bit more dusty. Uh, yeah, I definitely have like fallout everywhere from swatching these, so I'm gonna be careful with dusting off my brush each time I go into my eyes. All right, last row, we've got Audrey, which is another super creamy metallic, and it is such a stunning, like, sparkly teal. I feel like that would be a beautiful, beautiful smoky eye. We've got Freetown, which is kind of like a muted, like, teal navy-ish kind of in-between shade loop okay which is like a light kind of chartreusey green that one feels a little bit more sheer let's see oh wow okay that shade amazing so we've got handy which just looks like a pretty bright kind of golden yellow frisky which is like a burgundy matte, and then mass hole, which is a cobalt blue matte. So I feel like, I don't know if you can kind of see there, some of the more colored matte shades are just a little bit like, it's not that they're not pigmented, they're just like a little bit drier. All right, so there's the bottom three rows. I think that they look really pretty. I feel like some of the placement like is a little bit all over the place. I wish I don't I don't think these are magnetic magnetic. I kind of wish that I could move the shadows around, but it does look really, really pretty. And like I said, the sparkles in here. There's only one shade that's a satin, everything else is just super, super intense. So here's what those look like a little bit more up close. So pretty. Okay, so after those swatches, I feel like I want to do like a very like smoky kind of cool toned moment. Maybe like a, mm, I don't know. I, I have like a plan going on in my head, but I guess I should probably prime my eyes first. Pulled out the Juvia's Place shade one eye primer to use today. I do have the new Glam Light Icing um, eye primers. I grabbed two different shades in my order for the Michaela palette, but I feel like I should test those out a different day. Just go ahead and add a little bit on. A little bit goes a long way. Very excited for this eye look because I haven't done anything dramatic in a while, feels like, so hopefully it turns out well. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this shade right here called Harley, and I'm just gonna throw that in my crease, my first transition shade. Just using it pretty lightly, just a little dusting. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into How You Doing, that same brush, just using something a little bit more fluffy. And oops, that was that was a mess up. Okay, I guess I'm gonna bring that up a little bit higher. I was gonna keep that lower in my crease, but my hand slipped. Just adding a little bit more definition. I think next I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Freetown. Just picking up a little bit. And I'm starting that off in my outer V. And then just gonna kind of lightly blend that inwards. Just adding a little bit more. It's kind of messy, but I'm just gonna go back into my previous brush and blend over the edge. Also taking Freetown on a small smudgy brush and just popping that along the lower lash line. Probably just like about the first, like outer third. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Rhodey. And with that same smudgy brush, I'm gonna put that on the front, two thirds of the lower lash line. It's really bright. Okay, I think now I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Willow in my outer V. I love that this is kind of like an eggplanty brown because I feel like it's purple enough that it will work with the purples and the blues 
for more colorful looks, but it still has enough brown in it that it'll be good for the neutrals as well, depending on kind of what you're going for. I'm gonna kind of lightly dust that in. And again, just going with my previous brush and blending the edge. So I think I'm gonna start off with Nas on my inner corner. See how well that picks up with the brush. Ooh, that's so pretty. Picks up pretty good with the brush. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little tiny bit more and just start bringing it onto just the very inner portion of my lid before I go into any other shimmer shades. I think next I'm gonna go ahead and go into a little bit of the shade Manifest. I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna pop that on the middle of the lid and then kind of work it towards the inner portion. Again, so sparkly, so pretty. My goodness. I feel like the mattes did a good job, like they worked. I could see buying this palette for the shimmers alone because they are truly stunning. So now, last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Audrey. I just need to use at least a little tiny bit of this and I'm gonna pop that on the outer third. Look at that, my goodness. Blend it into the previous shade. Got like the tiniest little speck of fallout right there, but overall, I would say it looks really good. I I think it's very cute, okay. I think I'm gonna do the Azurite Blue Liner from We Makeup in my waterline. Gonna throw on some mascara and then I'll be right back. Okay, for highlighter real quick, I'm gonna go into the Lethal Cosmetics Highlight in the shade Scatter, which is like a pinky purple. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of that on the tops of my cheekbones. And then I'm gonna go into my blush brush and just go right over top of that. I think I'm just gonna finish off with the Sigma Renew Lip Oil in the shade All Heart. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look and I love how it turned out. I would say that overall, I like this palette so far. The shimmers, like I keep saying, are absolutely beautiful like just the sparkles the texture the creaminess like they just look so good on the eyelids so i'm really really happy with that i feel like there are some fun pops and mattes in here but i could still see using this palette in conjunction with other palettes especially because there's so many beautiful cool toned shimmers and i feel like i wish that there was some more like cool toned matte neutrals just for my personal preference but overall quality seems really good i'd love to know if you've tried this palette what you think about it or if you decided to skip on this one i'm actually not like super familiar with michaela i didn't know anything about her until this collaboration was announced but i think that the packaging is really pretty and girly and i like it so i'm excited to play with it more i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you're all doing well and i'll see you guys in the next one bye